Beloved, I remember as a young Christian, I got a lesson uh, in uh, putting my trust in people or thinking that I know someone and and truly, really, um, I, I didn't. I had an opportunity to, years ago uh, um, to play a round of golf with um, a ex-mayor of uh, a particular city. And I remember we were playing golf and, uh, you know, and I'm trying to be as polite and nice and because I knew of this man and how he was well beloved in, in this particular city. And, you know, and sometimes we give people a pass uh, because of so-called uh, polite society. You know, we want to be as polite and, and I was a new believer so I didn't uh, want to be um, pushy in any kind of way uh, um, with this particular man. But we got to talking and we was having a good conversation. And I happened to mention one of the council person who happened to be a woman. Uh, during his tenure, um, and it's as though his face completely changed, and he began to curse and began to say very negative and uh, uh, things about the woman, even going as far as talking uh, uh, underneath her clothing about the woman. I had to push myself away from him because I could not believe the vulgarity uh, that was coming out of this particular man. And thinking in my mind, I, there can't be other people who know this man is this way or he would have never been elected mayor. But then I don't know the heart of people because some people will, you know, uh, choose a devil to put him in uh, office as long as they're fulfilling their will. So, it, it, you know... I, I didn't know it at the time, but beloved, it was very shocking to me as a young believer. Uh, but, and I'm saying that to say this, that we can't just give people a pass because we believe that because of where they're from or whom uh, they are connected to as though they are something special in any way. Amen? And then before you know it, we fall to their uh, whims. Um, the unregenerate heart cannot know God. The unregenerate heart cannot know God. Even though I may have given that man a pass, God does not give him a pass because his heart is unregenerate and there's no change in that. But look what the Word of God says, beloved. Look what it says. It says in Romans 3 and 10, it said, As it is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understand it. There is none that seek it after God. We're talking about the unregenerate heart. They are all gone out of the way. They are all together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good, no, not one. Their throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursings and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. Beloved, this man was unstable in all his ways. No matter how I looked at him or how I had viewed him as a past uh, mayor uh, uh, of distinction uh, to the city, I had to, at that time, get to know the unregenerate heart and mind. No matter how polite it may seem at that time, beloved, the Lord wanted me to see this, how people, just as I told you about that individual when I had the encounter in the parking lot, that, beloved, we can't judge people simply by the position that they're in or where they are stationed before people. Beloved, 
God judges the heart and the mind of man. And the unregenerate heart and mind cannot know God, nor can it please God. But I was expecting more from this man because of the position that he had been in. And beloved, it doesn't matter if you're the President of the United States. If your heart is burnt, and if it's turned away from God, beloved, it does not matter. You are unregenerate. It doesn't matter what anybody say. People believe that they can say words and make somebody into a saint or make somebody into a believer who is a unbeliever. Beloved, God judges the unregenerate heart and he knows that they 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 shed innocent blood and destruction and misery follow them wherever they go. And beloved, that was a great lesson for me. Not to put my trust in that fact that some can act polite before people in polite society in order to get what they want. But ultimately, God reveals their heart. Beloved, be blessed today in Jesus' name.